Lila could hear the rain pattering gently against her window, an echo of her own turbulent thoughts. She had just moved to the bustling city of Paris from a small village in the south, and the transition was proving to be overwhelming. Every corner of Paris seemed to whisper secrets she wasn't privy to, making her feel like an outsider in what was supposed to be a new beginning. The loneliness was oppressive, and Lila found solace in her daily visits to a quaint little cafe just a few blocks from her apartment. The cafe, with its warm wooden interiors and the smell of freshly baked croissants, provided a temporary escape from her solitude. One rainy afternoon, as the streets were bathed in a melancholic gray, Lila sat by the window, staring blankly at the world outside. That was when she noticed him, a tall, slender man with an air of mystery about him. His name was Julian, and he was a regular at the cafe just like her. There was something enigmatic about the way he carried himself, a ghost of a smile always playing on his lips. Lila's curiosity was piqued. She began to observe him from a distance, wondering what stories lay hidden behind those intense eyes. Days turned into weeks, and their silent exchanges became a comforting routine for Lila. One day, as she was lost in her thoughts, Julian approached her table and introduced himself. Their conversation flowed effortlessly, breaking the barriers of silence that had previously enveloped her. As the weeks went by, Lila and Julian grew closer, sharing their dreams, fears, and the mundane details of their lives. Through Julian, Lila discovered hidden gems in the city, forgotten bookshops, serene parks, and charming little alleys that seemed to belong to a different era. Paris started to feel less like a maze and more like a treasure trove waiting to be explored. However, Julian had his own secrets. One evening, as they strolled along the Seine, he revealed that he was a writer struggling with a creative block. The city that inspired so many had become a prison for his creativity. In Lila, he found a muse, someone who reignited his passion for storytelling. Together, they embarked on a journey of rediscovery, of the city, of themselves, and of the stories that connected them. Lila's loneliness dissipated, replaced by a sense of belonging and purpose. The rain that once mirrored her sadness now felt like a gentle reminder of the beauty that lay in new beginnings. And so, in the heart of Paris, amidst the rhythm of raindrops and the aroma of coffee, two souls found each other, transforming their solitude into a tale of companionship and inspiration.